Good morning, Patreons. Today I wanted to show you something new I've just purchased, which is this. Well, this was, again, a very lucky find for me. And it is a so-called Barbary, or Barbarian, I don't know, um, naval cutlass or pirate cutlass, um, made by Windless Steelcrafts. So, Windless is a company which produces in India, or I think it is an Indian company. They have sometimes nice swords, sometimes not so nice swords, so you never know uh, exactly what you get. Um, um, but I already had some, or I have my, my uh, Highland Duke, for example, it has a, a, at least still the blade of the Windless uh, primitive Scottish dagger or dirk. Um, so I had some stuff made by Windlers and most of it was quite quite nice. Um, the price is okay, uh, the, the quality is okay, um, so um, not bad. And, and many shops offer to, to, uh, um, to sharpen uh, the Windlers uh, swords for you because they are always kind of semi-sharp, even though they are pointy, but they're not really sharp for, as, as combat sharp. Um, but they, uh, many shops offer sharpened service, and you find winter steelcrafts weapons all over the internet. Um, and I have to say, again, not everything they make is good, but most of the things I saw so far, or which I had, were, were quite nice. And this goes also for this um, cutlass. They uh, had the same cutlass um, before, um, but the Basket hilt was plain. This is this is with black color, black colored, and the former version had only only a leather grip, and this here is kind of ray or shark skin or something like that. Uh, not even sure if it's real shark skin, but I think so from the feel and the look or, or ray skin. Um, but besides that, uh, I think it's kind of of the same cutlass they had before, also the blade of the shape. Shape of the blade, sorry. It is not really historical. Um, you see the basket hilt has some you know, very pointy parts here, very pointy design. Um, yeah, I don't know where they have it from, um, but we know that there were basket hilted uh, cutlasses, um, especially in the time of uh, yeah, golden age of piracy in the early uh, 18th century. Um, we can find this and also later some not standard models of the British Navy had, had also basket hills or kind of uh, half baskets and something like that. So it is not, I think, a historical example or is, uh, based on a historical example, but you can find similar. And also in the 16th century you find Dusaks or Tessaks, so um, half basket hilted or basket hilted short swords. Sometimes the basket hilt form is called a Sinclair hilt. Um, and then you find shorter, longer, curved, sometimes also long straight blades, but very often you find shorter curved blades. And uh, yeah, this kind of resembles this as well. What I really like, I want to talk about the grip first before I show you the, the, the complete sword. What I like about the basket hilt here is, of course, it could be uh, made of thicker material. But I had at least the basket hilt of the so-called Scottish Cutlass, which has kind of this S-shaped angled cross guard and then a basket hilt on it. And this was too thin. It was too thin. You know, this, is, would, this would be a basket hilt, you know, one cut and it's broken or not, not even broken, just bended in and your, your hand is smashed. So this was not really a basket hilt, it was just like decoration. Um, but this one is, again, not as thick as it could be, but at least it makes a sturdy impression and it is solid enough um, to survive in combat, I think. Um, even not as long as our very good basket hit from our Angelo trading sword, but at least for a while it will definitely survive. Um, so this will not break or bend uh, too, too soon. The uh, cheese is the standard kind of leather sheath that Windlass makes. Um, personally, I like the kind of sheath they make. They are functional. Sometimes they are tighter, sometimes they are a little bit more loose. So this here, maybe you can hear this. This rattles a little bit, but it's okay, because if you carry it like so, it, 
will definitely not fall out, it has enough balance, okay? So um, the sheath is good, they also had black steel here instead of the former model and so yeah, this is, this is kind of nice. What I really did not expect to have is um, the sound, you know, I hate in movies when you see someone picking up a sword, no matter if it's a katana or, or a dagger or, or an arming sword or whatnot, and you always hear the sound when they draw the sword, it makes like shwing, you know, sometimes only a little bit, sometimes a really, really unrealistic sound. But I'm a little bit mistaken because you heard that? Do it again. Okay, I mean, at least a little bit of the sound. So, it's kind of pleasing, okay? So, it's like, you know, you, you have your sword and it's like, yeah, let's have a duel! And you have the swing sound, so, okay, why not? The blade is a nice pirate cutlass thing. I mean, this has some heft, it has a very big, thick back edge, uh, it narrows a little bit down to the point, but not too too much. So this, this has really the, the um, yeah, also the function of cutting some, something, which the cutlass originally was, okay, like um, hunting hangers and, and, and short swords, like of this sort, being um, a machete, okay, and a fighting sword. So a tool and a weapon at the same time. And even this one is more like, would be more like a, a more decorative and more higher quality um, version of that. It still has this machete-like heavy cutting hatchet blade. But even though the overall weight is like I think 1.3 kilos, which is the same like our uh, basketball brought of the Angelo, um, but still it is so wieldy so well balanced you can really I mean you feel it has it has cutting power in the point and, and this is something I really appreciate about it because this is what you want. You want to have this cutting power, also a nice point to thrust and as you can see it is really really short. I would say this this is shorter than many cutters I saw before. Um, not too short of course but if you think about fighting in you know a confined space like a jungle and of course in a boarding action on board a ship or in a, in a coastal fortress, then this is really something you want to have. You have basketball protection, you can punch with it in close quarters, and you can cut really hard and heavy, but you are still very swift and you can work from the wrist as well, and you can really wheel this around, and you have enough mass in the blade to parry things and do counter cuts. So, the blade is really nice and the maker, where I got it from, really, really, really made it sharp. So, this in the, in the, so down here you see it's blunt, so this is not bad for, for parrying. Um, and then it gets sharper and sharper and sharper towards the point. And the, and the point is really sharp, so with, with some, you know, delicate moves I can even cut paper. I mean, people go crazy about all this paper cutting, but... Um, it's nice to see how sharp it is um, in the point section. And what is also quite nice is it comes with a ball rig already. So the ball rig is part of the sword and this is something quite nice, especially for the price which is even if you don't get it um, like me used uh, for, for a cheaper price then you can get it quite um, even quite affordable uh, in shops, okay, as a new, as a new item. So this ball rig is not bad. Mm, it's kind of grey and black leather. Um, the rim here of the ball rig is a little bit thicker than the middle. Uh, has a kind of decorative um, belt, you know, part here from metal. Don't know what material, if it's real leather or, or if it's, um, you know, artificial leather, um, I don't know. Um, you can also change here with the loops. You can change how tight it is. So this is it now. Now it is perfect for, for this sort. I think you could even put it more like up here and um, put them here. And yeah, you have carbines here and really nice uh, 
little kraken which is very very nice for a good pirate cutlass so yeah this baldric and the sword in total um, very 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 nice i'll show you some close-ups of it as well on video so um, yeah really like this i mean this is kind of a cutlass which you would like to have in a boarding action you know if you are scottish highlander and you, your life turns upside down and you go go to sea and you you, you know land uh, in the west indies and become a pirate of the caribbean this is your boring highland broadsword you want to have so a really nice heavy but still wieldy and swift and quick um, boarding cutlass